Hi guys and welcome back. So in today's video um, I'll be taming one of the beavers. So easiest way to get it knocked out is to use um, a crossbow and run backwards. This one only took two shots uh, and it was knocked out. So what I used for the taming here um, is some rocker root um, and the major berries. Um, but the rocker root works best or better than the major berries so just pump a few rocker roots into it there you can see I had 13 um, now it's on 11 then you just hit it with the knocker berries every now and again um, as you see the top all going down so uh, I put in about I, get, I feed it about 20 berries more or less at a time um, to make sure the top wall is more or less where it should be so you can see it it, it takes quite a bit of time um, if you just use berries to get it tamed it's a very slow and tedious process but you will eventually get it done just make sure that you're in a safe area where there's no real um, predators around that could come and kill the beaver You'll also note that with the rocker root, um, the taming percentage is 7%. So they're feeding it a few knocker berries again, making sure it's knocked out, stays under. And you'll see the area where I'm in is if you look on the map, um, I'll put the coordinates in the, the comments. Um, this is like a a hidden dam the beavers spawn here um, I've also made a base here um, on the hill there on the right on the rock platform kind of thing you got there so this is quite a good spot if you want to get wood quite easily um, you can just borrow it from the beavers <laughs> now I would advise you probably killing the beavers first before raiding the beaver dam as they do attack you when you go into the inventory of the beaver dam but yeah basically not much to it um, the top wall does go down uh, does go down a bit fast on this guy but if you've got enough knocker berries with you that would be the the minimum you require you know to get it all tamed up Sorry for the dog barking in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. They're on their own mission today. I don't know why. But in any case. So yeah, here we go. I'm 30%. Almost at 37. And uh, this area around the water here. Um, it's got three entrances. Oh, 38%, sorry. Well, yeah, it's got three entrances, um, so I use it as my zoo. Um, I call it a zoo because this is where I leave all my tames, or a majority of them, um, especially the herbivores. I've got a few feeding troughs like, um, scattered around the area, and you just fill them up with berries. Um, put the, put the, the dinos or the creatures on on the wonder and then I'll just wander around the, the the beavers will get you a good amount of wood as well um, I, I haven't s seen them build a beaver dam the tamed ones um, but there's no real worry about it as there's several beavers that spawn here and then I just use my own beavers for wood as well as the beaver dams and also it's a good way of getting cementing paste um, when you go into constructing a metal base um, a lot of the parts they you'll require cementing paste um, and this is a good way of getting it um, just be sure to be close to a few beaver dams and then every now and again you'll have yourself some cementing paste 
I don't know what the regeneration time is for that, but it works. Also, it helps to have quite a few of the narco berries. I think on this guy I used about 140 narco berries, um, just on a level 5. Obviously, narcotics will work better, and what works even better is the biotoxin that you get from the jellyfish. But if you don't have that, um, this is one of the methods to try and do it. Um, you could also just plain out use the major berries. Seeing that getting hold of the rocker root is not always that easy. But what's cool about the location is there's a lot of the jungle ferns around here where you can find the the rocker root. So it'll help you. Also if you've got like a a parasol, like I've got there in the background, um they're also quite good at finding the rock root, the veggies. Um also my dio bay here on the right. Um amazing at gathering the vegetables and berries um, also at quite a bit of a speed if I had to compare the dire bed to the parasol well there's no real comparison there but uh, harvesting with a parasol for veggies takes much longer compared to using the dire bed um, yeah also you'll note well the location that I'm in I don't have any of the big herbivores in here uh, mainly because they don't fit in the passages leading to those opening um, and my carnivores I leave them outside by the water's edge because there's a lot of creatures running around there um, the giga that you saw me tame in the previous video um, that one and the other giga I've got I both leave them both outside there run around and they feed themselves and yeah, this is like my herbivore petting zoo parking lot. <laughs> but yeah, so this guy is almost done. Went 70%. As you can see, I've put in quite a few of the narco berries. A good estimate for the amount of um, resources you're going to use for a tame is if you use Dota decks. Um, I use that for almost all my tames just to get a, a good idea of what it is you know, that's going to be required to get the thing knocked out and tamed. But yeah, this uh, the beavers take quite a long time. I also did this one without using the soothing balm. Well, mainly because I didn't have enough am um, amber to purchase one. And also thought I'd just show you how to do it the long way around. They also do take um, kibble. And I believe the kibble for these guys... Um, They prefer to eat well, it's the veggies and the berries. And then kibble wise, let's see. They use the the gallimimus kibble. So if you are fortunate enough to have a a gallimimus and you can make yourself some of the kibble awesome alternative method is uh, get a kitchen a chef station um, and then just purchase the kibble from there I believe this guy would have taken three well yeah you know, let's say three or four gallimimus kibble and um, the fastest way obviously is to use the soothing balm and then just drop one in and it's done much much quicker that way
Like I said, for this guy, I've, I used about 140 um, of the narco berries. But if you have biotoxin, you'd probably use about, I think, six or seven, maybe eight. Somewhere there. I'm speaking on the correction, but uh, you know that would be my guesstimate. Um, well, it's 15. Yeah, I'd probably say probably around about up to about 15. Because like a, a level one takes six, and a level 30 takes 24. So it's somewhere in between there, closer to the level one. So I'd probably say around about 10, maybe. But any case. So this guy is just about nearly tamed up. Um, I think this is the last one it's going to chow on. And then it's all done. Well, there we go, guys. That's the beaver tame. The long way. Be sure to leave a like and a comment.